the member for Thunder Bay, Atacoma. Speaker, thank you very much. I'm pleased to have six minutes left on the clock today to speak on, on this Opposition Day motion. And like many of our members on this side of the House, I guess I'm wondering a little bit why the official opposition, the Conservatives, would use their last Opposition Day motion of the session to, to speak on this file, given the history that they have as a party with mismanaging it in such a gross uh, way that they did from 95 to 2003. It's, it's a little bit, I would say, like leading with your chin. Speaker, I want to, I want to read for, for you into the record a few things. But first, we've heard mentioned a few times from the opposite benches about the issue of transparency. And I'm going to read this for you. The projections in its 2009 annual report indicate that the Ontario Electricity Financial Corporation, the corporation set up by the Conservatives when they were the government of the day, will be in a position to offset its liabilities in the years ranging from 015 to 018, at which time the debt retirement charge will end. It appears like there is reporting going on in this regard already. The numbers are in the annual report from the Ontario Electricity Financial Corporation, set up by you when you were in government. But there are a few specific points that I want to read into the record when it comes to the debt retirement charge and for the people in my riding of Thunder Bay, Atacokan to make sure they're aware of this. The charge was slapped on everybody's energy bill in 99 as a result of the policies at the time of the government of the day, the Conservative government when they were, the, uh, when they were in power from 95 to 2003. Began in 1999. From 99 to 2003, and this one's a beauty, this one's a beauty. From 99 to 2003, the PC government actually added to the stranded debt. It rose by one billion over those four years from 19.4 billion to 20.5 billion. Now, what number I don't have here is I know it went up by one billion in those four years, but what I don't know is how much you collected during those four years, but you did collect, because you put the debt retirement charge on people's bills in 99. So not only were you collecting for four years the charge that you instituted, but the debt went up in those four years. It didn't go down. So it went up by a billion. Where did the money you collected in those four years go? The debt didn't go down while you were collecting it. It went up. In contrast to our government, the debt's been going down by about a billion a year over the last six years. The stranded debt is currently $5.7 billion lower, $5.7 billion lower than it was in 2003. By paying down $5.7 billion, we're saving the taxpayers of the province of Ontario $408 million a year in interest expense by doing that. I don't know how much was costed to us by the former government when they let the debt increase even while they were collecting the debt retirement charge. Don't know where that money went, would sure like to know. The Ontario Electricity Financial Corporation is projecting the debt to be paid down by another $1 billion this fiscal year. So, Speaker, to summarize, to date, $7.8 billion has been collected under the debt retirement charge. $5.7 billion has been used to pay down the principal. Those are numbers that I haven't heard anybody dispute. They sound like they're beyond, uh, beyond the point of debate. Speaker, there are costs associated with some of the things that we're doing on energy. Nobody on this side of the House has ever disputed that. Just this morning, I had the opportunity in my riding of Thunder Bay, Atacoke, and along with my colleague, Michael Gravel, to make a tremendous announcement. An announcement that was committed to by all three political parties in the 2003 election, that is that they would all go off coal. All three parties said it. Ernie Eves, the leader of the PC, said it. Howard Hampton, when he was the leader of the NDP, said it. And our leader, Dalton McGuinty, said it. And we're doing it. Five coal plants in the, riding of, uh, in the province of Ontario, two of them were in my riding of Thunder Bay, Atacokan. In August, just past, I had the great pleasure of announcing that the Atacokan generating station will be converted to biomass, creating construction jobs, saving 100 jobs in that plant, saving 40% of the municipal tax base for the town of Atacokan, and on it goes, and potentially creating another wood products industry in northwestern Ontario as a result of that decision. We did that. First plant to be converted to biomass, I believe it's fair to say, in the history of the province of Ontario. That was the first one in my riding that we converted. Everybody said they were going to consider doing it. We've done it. That costs some money. Are they telling me over there they don't want to do that? And then this morning, in Thunder Bay, the second coal plant, generating station that's in my riding. Along with my colleague Michael Gravel and I, we announced this morning that the Thunder Bay generating station will be converted to natural gas. We're going to save both those plants. So, Speaker, both of those things that I'm very proud of, I'm very proud of having accomplished that in the riding of Thunder Bay, Atacokan. It's going to save a lot of jobs. 
It's going to save a lot of tax base. It's going to create a lot of construction jobs. And on that list goes. Now, are the people across the aisle telling me that they're not interested in that? Remember, in 2003, you committed to it. Your party committed to it. There's a cost associated with it. Are you going to rule back on it? Are you going to say you don't support it now? I heard my colleague speaking earlier. At some point, somebody please tell me what kind of generation you're interested in. What is it? You don't like nuclear, you don't like wind, you don't like solar, you don't like hydraulic. I don't know what it is you like. I don't know how you're going to make sure. You say, you say gas is too expensive. You've got to pick something. You've got to pick something. Speaker, from 90 to 95, everybody's got a record. Under the NDP, it went up by 40% in five years. They cancelled conservation programs. They didn't replace it with anything. They cancelled Conawapa, a great deal from Manitoba that was set up by the David Peterson government in the late 80s. We'd have had energy at four cents a click forever. They got rid of it, and as well, the Conservatives capped artificially the price of power in 2002, I believe it was, at 4.3 cents, and the Conservatives hid the true cost of that energy in the debt retirement charge, the very thing that we find ourselves speaking about today. Thank you, Speaker.